Shay. Hello. What's the best app I can get from a smartphone, bro? Well, I see this is a question we get asked quite a lot, Scott. So we're going to do a bit of a series. <laughs> If you are new to Golf North Wales, please consider hitting the like and the subscribe below. This is our series of the best apps for golf that you can get on your smartphone. In the first week, well, it's, we're not going to do them weekly, they'll probably be every couple of weeks. But the first app we're looking at today is going to be down either that side or that side of the screen, the Shot Tracer app. Because how often do we get asked, hey lads, how do you do the line on your, on your tee shots? So, number one in our best apps for your smartphone for golf is Shot Tracer. So all we'll do is I'll grab a screen recording as we're going along. You just literally go to the App Store, download Shot Tracer, which is the one that's somewhere on the screen right about now. Wait for that to download. It is a couple of quid. However, it's a couple of quid well spent. What you will need yourself is a tripod. Doesn't have to be as fancy doesn't have to be as fancy as ours. I had a text message coming through as we were doing that. <laughs> so you literally just go on the app, shot tracer, record video. It does need to be on a tripod, because if you get it off a tripod, it will still work, but as the shot's going, like if you turn the tripod, it'll then look like it's miles left. Um, but nonetheless, I say we're looking at the app now, I'm gonna go off the app. What I would advise with Shot Tracer is just going onto your normal camera and uploading everything to it a little later. So all we'll do, Scott comes behind with me. We're literally gonna take a step back. I'm gonna place in a suitable position and we're gonna click record. Job done, easy as that. And then all I'm gonna do from there is obviously span a my tee shot somewhere off the right or the left probably left knowing me right so camera died scott yeah so we'll jump back into it but we're gonna click record on the smartphone on our tripod behind just obviously a note again shot tracer isn't actually on at the moment it's literally just the normal video app your camera <laughs> Nice scully low one. That'll be easy. Do you want me to hit one? Yeah, we'll get Scott to hit one as well then. <laughs> it's up there somewhere. That'll work for me. <laughs> Just get Scott to hit one as well. And what we'll do after we've done it... You can imagine with we'll... the wind off the left here, you'll have a good curve going to the right for me. Yeah, that'll look nice for us, I suppose. Yeah. But what we'll do, Scott, is we'll shoot frame, back at home. Up. We'll shoot back at home and show how to edit the shot tracer in. There's obviously a few caveats to that. And that is the fact that it doesn't always capture. But I say, obviously, we always get asked, how do we do the lines on our, on our videos? Nice one up the right, hello. But this is the sort of thing that most content creators are actually using. There's a few that are using things that are a bit better than this, Scott something a bit more high tech and easier to use. Well, not easier to use, but they plot better lines. But we'll get up there, we'll have a look, and everyone's got a little bit more of a grasp of how to use the Shot Tracer app. <laughs> right, so we are back at home. I've got my iPhone with my video footage of us playing on the course. So what we're gonna do is if we just go straight into the shot tracer app to start we're going to import video from camera roll excuse the dogs in the background we're going to choose the video that we've got and all we do is simply rewind the video back to where the impact of the shot is so we're going to have it here click confirm and okay and then it does everything for us see if this one works a lot of the time it's worth mentioning it doesn't get a good grasp um, of where the ball's gone you usually you'll have to plot this in yourself well would you have it that is probably perfect as to where my <laughs> my ball actually went so now we'll just click the save button and that saves that straight into your camera roll wait for that to complete and what it'll do is it'll bring the video up immediately. 
And there you go. It's as easy as that. <sighs> I wish I could hit a drive that was as easy as, as easy as doing that, to be honest with you. However, if we just go back and back again, that will have saved in our camera roll. If we click on Scott's drive, see if this is a good a better demonstration of how the shot tracer app usually works so there's the ball moving off the tee click confirm wait for that to pick up the ball flight it will take a couple of seconds and there we go that's a bit more of a proper representation of the shot tracer app so now we'll just click manual so we know where the balls ended and we know where the ball has started obviously on the tee and then we add the curvature in that's about right big low healy cut but it did climb so if we just add that tower in a little bit more you'll get an idea when you click save if it's the right ball flight so that looks about right to me so we click save We'll see when it comes up. But to me, that looks about right for what that shot was. Excuse the bags under my eyes, by the way. Yep. Pretty much exactly as it was, but that's a, a better representation of the Shot Tracer app, usually having to do things yourself. So what can we do in the app? We can obviously go on edit, so we can change the line color. So if I just change that to red quickly, We've got all this other stuff we can do as well. The majority of it you may never use. I know certainly I won't most of the time. We've got disappearing line, so once you hit the ball, it does it isn't a continuous line, it actually follows it along. So we've just clicked a few things on. If we click save. <gasps> oh while that's saving obviously it does get a bad some bad reviews but there's obviously the red line it gets some bad reviews in the app store just because it's not as easy to use as I'm trying to think of, it's not as easy to use as it would suggest because you've got to plot things in manually so this is why i usually go into the video first I record this is why I record the video first and then put it in post in order to edit the shot tracer in because if you're doing it while you're on the course you're gonna find you're taking a lot of time out your round plain and simply just to do your shot tracer so just record the video and do it all later so we're just gonna put a few bits in so we can obviously put Scott's name so Scott is poop do all the odds and sods like that. You can add a COVID effect by the looks of it. I don't know what a COVID effect might be. Uh, let's have a quick look. So obviously just save every time. Every time you click save, it will save into camera roll. And then you can go back in and edit a different edit. So we've got Scotty's poop currently on the screen. Lovely. One thing it does sometimes is cut the video short, so the video will pause, but the line will also keep going. So that's obviously something worth noting again. You'll notice in a few of ours that it does that. Let's have a quick look at this COVID-19 thing that's going on. What is this COVID-19 effect? Oh, I don't know why you'd want that on your videos, but if you do want it, it's there to use. Let's take that off, I think. But we can add a scorecard in as well, which is obviously a nice little feature. I've noticed a lot of people will do a shot for shot on all their rounds and put use this scorecard feature in order to just post their score throughout the round. So quite useful if you want to make your own videos of course obviously they don't have to be edited on any software that's over the top I mean there's plenty of stuff out there for free that you can use so we just click save on that one again see how that comes out 
So we've got a scorecard coming along the bottom for us as well, which is which is quite handy. It's quite handy. God, I look awful. Hard day's work. <laughs> but yeah, that that's basically how to use shot tracer. Let's head back to the course. So then folks, after popping back home, all the way home just to edit that video, that is how we use and you should use the Shot Tracer app. Of course, what you need is one of these, a tripod, and you need the app, and you're away to go. But again, thanks for watching. If you are interested in this series, which is exploring the best golf apps for your smartphone, please hit the like and subscribe down below. This is part one of a part well, of a five-part series, so there's plenty more to come. But this is the one we get asked about a whole bunch. So again, like, subscribe, and we'll definitely see you in the next one.